tossing him away, and now Tanahashi's going to come in in the plus position with a little extra motivation. Of course, Kenta was on the lineup for New Japan versus Noah last year and had to miss that night, miss that match because Tanahashi put him on the injured list. You still see the results in the scars on Kenta's back. Yeah, this is a much more focused and driven Kenta when he's opposite Tanahashi. The permanent reminders of what happened to Wrestle Kingdoms ago on the body of Kenta as they trade for center ring. This isn't about New Japan versus Noah, this is just personal hatred for these two guys. Uh, wait a second now, change of direction in the DDT. Kenta had the counter, was able to hit it. Retreating back to the neutral corner as Tanahashi slow to come back up after that DDT caught him by surprise. Here comes Kenta, Chris, got one loaded up for him. Oh wait, Sling Blade instead. Yano reaching out. Fought to the Psycho knee from Kenta. Quickly turned aside by the Sling Blade, and there we go. You used to be best buddies, drinking pals. Come on, we've got to find some common ground over here. <laughs> he was making his pick on the corner pad to remove. Marafuji giving him kind of that bop in the back of the head. But oh, Marafuji got psyched out there. <laughs> Oh, and a fake out that we've seen Desperado use a time or two. And it will lead to a pinning opportunity here, but just the one count. For a lot of pro wrestling Noah, I think, we can say that 2022 was not their best year. Uh, but the hopes shine new here in 2023. They've all got a hell of an opportunity here today, that's for sure. Well, Desperado just has to be a singles target, really, for a man, any junior heavyweight around the world. And there you see he was looking for those double knees. Desperado got out of the way. There were some people, Kevin, that, that really do feel, and even within the New Japan roster, look at Despe. Watch out, Yohei. Say hello. There are some people that feel, even within New Japan Pro Wrestling, you get those blinkers on and those guys that feel that the business is our business. Everything New Japan Pro Wrestling is Pro Wrestling. El Desperado's always cast his net wider. He watches everybody, he follows everybody, and I think he's got a very well-established scouting report on Yohei. Yeah, yeah, you're not gonna get over on Desperado when it comes to a different style or a different promotion. And, and of course, in Pro Wrestling Noah, you're gonna see guys whose roots, not only from Noah, but also from Zero One, from Osaka Pro, from Dragon Gate from companies all around Japan. And of course, they mix in foreigners from time to time, just like in New Japan Pro Wrestling as well. None are on the card here today, but I know that Anthony Green is happy to be back. Uh, we will see him in some big matches, I know, throughout the next few months. Along with Jake Lee and others. And you talked about Yave. Oh yeah, that people that, over there on our, on our left. Got a, I mean, no glow stick there. Well, that happened. All in the tank. Yes, of course they are in the tank. That happened in the. Uh, that was in the changeover. So four announcers. Blue on blue here. But of course, Sorry. musically we could be bluer than blue. <laughs> Waist lock takedown. Amaxa sends across Master Watto. Nice slick motion there from Amaxa. Made a, a sudden appearance in, in No Rings, so October 30th. Yeah. Now, do you think Amaxa knows Max the Max? <laughs> well, perhaps. We've intersected all roads, I think, in this one. He won with the GHC Junior Championship, beat Dante Leon to capture that title just before Christmas. And now tagging in Alejandro as well. So all three in the blue corner part of the Noah Main unit. 
And all three in the red corner, part of Hontai with, of course, Taguchi Japan, one of the subgroups. Oh, I like the way Tiger Mask starts off here against Alejandro and roars through him with yeah. the shoulder block. No messing around for Tiger Mask here tonight. Knows exactly what it's like to be in these inter-promotional environments. You know, in fact, around 2009 when Noah was invading New Japan, Tiger Mask was GHC junior heavyweight champion at the time as well. Him and now Michi Marufuji had a great rivalry back then. And back in 22, Tiger Mask holding the All Japan World Junior title for a, a time and three defenses and a successful summer. But Tiger Mask, who did not get off to the best of starts on January the 4th at Wrestle Kingdom, looking to atone for that. And the double team here. Not your house, Sunshine. Oh, oh that one. my God. That was in the eye. And a few little memories of Akira Maeda. Oh, no. there's there your receipt. Goes. Here we go. Oh, boy. Get on your feet, Kip. I ain't going nowhere. I'm watching this. Ooh, this oh, is my God. Yeah, Okada split open above his left eye, and he is beating the hell out of Kiyomiya. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I think they say online that things escalated quickly here. Yeah. This got real, real, real fast. Oh, and Kiyomiya launching into. Oh, my Okada. God. The referee is down. Yeah, there's a match going on in the ring, but that's really academic right now here, people. Kiyomiya and Okada are beating the ever-living Batebas out of one another. And we might need two rosters and all the security that we have in the ref, building to get these people apart. You better call for the bell, ref. You better call for the bell, or one or both champions are going to get hurt, and hurt bad. And this is on you, ref, if you don't call for the bell right now. Maccabee, perhaps. He's been around the block for a long, long time. Best man to be in control of this situation. This is a situation. This is a serious, serious situation out here. And now it's going to choke him out. Kimi is going to get, hell no. We're on the side of what the fans want, and we're on the side of what's what's going to fill all these seats and have every fan in the world tuned in 10JPW World. Bushi starts off fast with Tadasuke. Look, Bushi was looking past Tadasuke in the comments, talking about why can't I wrestle Hiroki, joking about Tadasuke's hair. But certainly there was uh, mind games being pressed uh, right from the announcement, right from a press conference here between the LIJ and Congo members. And I think... Both of these guys, Tadasuke as well as Bushi, might get the knock of being decent glue guys. But they're effective wrestlers, competitors in their own rights. And if you're happy to be here, Bushi, then you could get blown out by a motivated Tadasuke. And the same on the opposite side. If Bushi's super motivated, watch out, Chris. Here oh, he comes. No, oh, not again. There you go. Good job. Yeah, well, I, oh, I too got broken up by the last match. Well, he's, in, he's a big boy. He could take. What happened to that fractured monitor? There goes Tadasuke. No, wait a second. It's Bushi that gets wheeled into the fence. So just like our last contest that ended up in a no contest, Bushi and Tadasuke started this five versus for this five singles match go round with LIJ and Congo fight down on the floor. And Marty Asami defiantly trying to get both men to come back into the ring. You having fun, Chris? You enjoying yourself? I'm still trying to get my heart right down. You know, I mean, I keep that think about what happened. Uh, you know, a very famous incident that Kira Maeda booted Tatsumi Fujinami uh, in 1987, I believe it was. And it, and it was a situation where Maeda was just because. Hiromu is Hiromu. 
But boy, oh boy, Hajime O'Hara is proving just how great he is standing toe to toe with Hiromu Takahashi. Perhaps the pride as he wants to stand and trade with Hiromu at this point probably might be better served going to that back. Both men exhausting themselves but refusing to go down. And this is more, I think, to Hiromu's advantage. Longer run than O'Hara. He's got O'Hara off his back and into a stand-up game, and Hiromu can hit very, very hard. Oh, my God. A flurry, cross kick. O'Hara tried to block it. Yeah. Oh! Jeez! Oh, no, but Hiromu's half out. Hajime O'Hara did significant damage. No avoiding it now. Oh my goodness, it could be. Oh, now we got it. Went all the way back, Moi Bien. And Hiromu could be within seconds of tapping out. And again. Ivan Putski thanks you for that reference. <laughs> I'll never be a Putski award winner, but happy to bring his name up wherever we can. Oh. <laughs> No love lost for those men. My goodness, look at Sonata's chest. Sonata, yeah. oh, oh man, was really loading up and Soya scored. Winning that rolling elbow, denied by Soya, DVD, Death Valley Bomb, this could be over. Two, yeah. just barely, just barely getting that right shoulder up. And now, finally, Soya could be in position. He's wanted it for a long, long time in this match, and now the time could be right. No. Oh, but no again, O'Connor, O'Connor! Sits down too. Hey, couldn't hold him down, the powerful legs of Manu Soya. Trying to hook him, skull end, skull end. Can't get the hooks on Sawyer though. Counter. That would go matter how long of well we we managed to get the, the advantage win over LIJ. Yeah. That smile scares me. I mean we heard it. And still Nakajima smiling. Pampering him and then one big one. Yeah, but Shingo's got to be careful in the stand-ups. If Nakajima switches from elbows to an overhand right, it might be night-night for the Dragon.
they're just winded up and hitting each other as hard as humanly possible. And somehow, both Nakajima and Shingo still stand. Any one of these strikes, though, especially from a proficient kickboxer like Nakajima, could end this match. And you see, Shingo's got nothing left. You've got to cover up, Shingo. You've got to retreat to the ropes. You're standing in the middle, and Nakajima's picking you apart. Kibo! The violent kick also means hope. Could it be hope for Noah? No. And Keno straight away, PFS now. Missed earlier, this time gets it. Oh boy, did he get it. Here's the cover, Keno senses victory and almost gets it, Chris, almost. So close to now. Can the agitado, Keno, have enough composure to drive this home, because it'll be a short drive if he does. And it might be with an incredibly dangerous move, the ring of fire, the end ring, it's all or nothing for Keno. But no, Naito out the back door. Spikes him into the mat, does Naito. Keno trying to create some distance. Yeah. I was just going to ask you, Chris, how close do you think we are to 25? And we're there. So less than five minutes to go in our time limit. Oh my god, yeah, I hadn't thought about it. We got 30 and wow, that is a turnbuckle right in the face. Oh, Keno, the alley-oop. Just like we saw a couple of G1s ago. Naito hears that 25 minute call and he goes on autopilot. Neck, bring up the arm, Destino, see you later.